Hi, I'm Ripin Nair. I'm a customer engineer at Google, specializing in machine learning. And today I'm going to talk about the application of machine learning on video, on visual content across multiple industries. So when we talk about visual content, like for example, video, uh, a video would have inherent metadata like the title of the video, the frame rate of the video, the size of the video, and maybe the author of the video. In some cases, we also may have like user provided tags describing the video. But if we have to drive some impactful automation and user experience, then this alone may not be enough. We may want the machines to understand and interpret the video like a human. Uh, we would want the machine to maybe automatically infer the semantics in a video. Like for example, what is the key topic in the video? or what are the entities that are being shown in a video or how many people appear in a video and things like that. Then there is the whole temporal aspect of the video in terms of which objects appear in which frame at what time in the video. And in many cases, there is also the hygiene aspect where we may want to find and filter out some explicit or objectionable content from the video. So, now, if we can automate the extraction of all these details, then we can take more insightful actions at scale. And these actions could be in terms of maybe making meaningful recommendations to the user or curating content based on cultural sensitivities or even just enabling smarter search for better user experience. So now let's take a look at some industry use cases that we can optimize if machines have the ability to make such smart inferences. So let's start with the media and entertainment industry, especially with uh, the search that is happening because of the OTT and the user generated content. So ML can be used to optimize content management in this industry, and it can be used for automated smart tagging, it can be used for content moderation, and it can also be used for smart retrieval of content. If we move to the insurance industry, then automating damage assessment using computer vision has resulted in a faster turnaround time in terms of processing claims. It has resulted in lower processing cost and uh, better CSACs for end customers. If we move to the agricultural sector, then uh, a popular use case is application of AI and ML to crop analysis uh, for automating the whole sorting and grading of farmer produce. And in many cases, it has also been used to watch out for pest infestation. Another common use case across industries is uh, in terms of document understanding. So across industries, multiple business processes deal with documents scan documents, digital documents, and these could be invoices, forms, KYC collected ID cards, and so on. Uh, we can automate process flows by using ML to extract structured information from these scan documents and then pass them for downstream processing. Another compelling use case if we move to the retail sector is the visual or vision product search. Now, in this case, customers can take a photo with their phone and then use this photo to search the whole retailer's product catalog. So we can use machine learning in this case to match this photo with a set of products in the retail catalog to return a ranked list of visually and semantically similar results. And retailers are not just using this to help their customers to do visual shopping and have a good customer experience, but they are also using this to analyze style trends based on the images that customers have uploaded. And they are also using it to get some insights into competitive pricing. Other extreme, if we move to the manufacturing industry, then they are also not far behind when it comes to applying machine learning for things like quality control, process optimization, or even workplace safety. So the ML models in this space are easy to use and are very easily integrable with uh, the existing processes, which allow them to be scaled out across complex global uh, manufacturing footprints. And some of the key benefits include substantial reduced rework cost and improved customer satisfaction, of course. Uh, another interesting application is in the advertising space where augmented reality, 
combined with machine learning is used to provide an immersive brand experience by various retailers and other corporate brands. So the list just goes on in terms of application of ML and visual insights to various industry use cases. But now let's take a look at some of the building blocks that we have at Google uh, that can help you build vision insights into your applications. So we have pre-trained ML models for both vision and video intelligence. And these models are available as APIs on GCP. So you can easily embed AI into your applications now using these APIs without building any ML model of your own. However, uh, the insights in this case would be very generic and may not cater to specific domain needs. If you need to get like domain specific insights, you would need to build custom models. And we at Google provide a couple of options to build these custom models as well. Uh, the first option is a low code, no code approach, which we call the auto ML. And this helps you build complex models on your data set with just zero lines of code. Uh, the second option is to build custom models using popular machine learning frameworks on Google's ML platform, which is the Vertex AI. Now, what are some of the capabilities that these building blocks offer out of the box? So if we talk about Google's vision APIs, then they help identify things like facial landmark and emotions on, on photos that have people or personas in them. You can have OCR capabilities that infer both printed and handwritten text from scanned images. Uh, you can identify popular landmarks and company logos from images and photographs. You can embed smarter and safer search to retrieve relevant products from uh, your catalog. So these are some of the things that come out of the box using Vision API. Now, if we move to video, uh, all the capabilities that Vision API offers are available for video as well. But in addition to that, the Video Intelligence API can allow you to detect short changes across the video. And you can use this to maybe summarize the video in a trailer. You can track objects in the video to retrieve uh, at what time do they appear and at what parts of the video do they appear. You can build transcription into your videos by uh, capturing all the speech that is happening throughout the video. So these are some of the capabilities that come out of the box from our video intelligence APIs. Now, if you move to AutoML and if you want to build custom models of your own for video, you can build models for video classification based on your business needs. You can identify actions and objects within your video feeds and then use this inference to initiate measures around, say, business safety, security, and even quality assurance. So these are some of the capabilities that you can build using AutoML and custom models from Google. So to summarize, um, the advances in machine learning on the visual content front help you detect and understand the content with very high accuracy. It helps you automate expensive workflows. And all of this ensures better quality, faster decision making, and higher operational efficiency. So we at Google have the right set of tools and expertise in our ML portfolio to help you in your ML journey on visual insights. Uh, so please reach out to us to discuss your specific needs around visual insights. And we would be happy to engage with you and help you solve your business challenges. So with that, thank you for watching and we look forward to hearing from you.